Hey everybody, I'm Chili. Welcome to Intermediate C++ Game Programming. Now, for those of you who just somehow stumbled onto this video, uh, hey there. Now, I'm Chili. I already said that. Uh, you know, make yourself comfortable. Mi casa es tu casa. And uh, let me tell you a little bit about what we do here. So I got like a whole program and what the program does is it takes someone with no programming experience teaches them C++ real good <laughs> and then I teach them 3D graphics theory and practice and we do it all while you know making dumb games for fun and practice and shit which is way better than making boring console applications now this video series is the second series in the program. The first series is of course Beginner C++. And in this video I'm going to give you guys an overview of what we aim to accomplish in Intermediate here. And I'm also going to give you a list of prerequisites for Intermediate. What you need to know and what you need to have to be able to do this shit. Alright, let's see what's on the menu for Intermediate. The first video in this series is going to be a little crazy because we're going to go real low level. I'm going to give you some theory and some background that is going to help you maybe to understand shit like pointers a little easier. So we're going to go real low level and I'm going to give you guys an idea of things like memory and variables, how the CPU accesses data and a little bit about binary number systems, all that crazy horse shit. Then we're going to learn about pointers and low level C strings and memory management bullshit. And I'm starting intermediate on a very low level to kind of create a little bit of a base but that's not the goal here I want to teach you guys modern smart fucking kick-ass C++ and kick-ass C++ doesn't actually code with that low level bullshit but I want you guys to know it anyways because my goal here is to create real code pimps so once we've quickly covered that low-level bullshit, then we're going to emerge from our chrysalis like a beautiful butterfly and learn all the fucking sweet C++ stuff from the standard library, like, you know, std string and vectors and streams and all that good bullshit. And once you guys know that, we're going to put it to work. We're going to, I'm going to go over loading a common binary file format from scratch. We're going to learn to load a bitmap file. And then we're going to use the pixels that we loaded from that bitmap and we're going to use it to draw sprites. So we're going to learn about some spriting operations like uh, blitting and clipping and chroma keying and alpha blending, all that good shit. After that, the picture is a little hazier, but I'm definitely going to cover inheritance and polymorphism in this series. And we're going to be adding more and more stuff from the standard library, you know, and stuff from C++11, like... Uh, lambda functions and all sorts of other crazy horse crap. And of course, we're gonna make some more dumb, fun game bullshit along the way. All right, now let's talk about the prerequisites. What do you need to be able to follow along with this series? Well, you're going to need basic programming knowledge of C++, the stuff that I teach in my beginner series, and I will cover that uh, a little bit later in this video. I'll go into a little more detail of that. So you need to know the basics of C++. You need to have Microsoft Visual Studio either 2015 or 2017, because that's what I use in the videos. I'm going to start these videos off using 2015, but I might switch it up to 2017 at some point if I need to and of course I do these videos on Windows I know I'm sorry but that's the way that's how I roll so if you don't if you're not on Windows you're gonna not probably be able to follow these unless you like install a virtual machine or something. The code for these tutorials is going to be available usually on GitHub, sometimes as a zip file. And basically all the resources that you need and all the information is going to be on the wiki page. That's at wiki.planetchili.net. There's going to be a whole list for there for every tutorial. Every tutorial has its own page. Always check the wiki page for every tutorial. It could contain important information information, corrections, etc. Always check the wiki. Now let me quickly go over what the beginner series covers so you can know you have a general idea of whether or not you're going to have to do some studying up. This is a pretty detailed list. You don't have to know 
every goddamn thing on here, but you should probably know most of it. And I'm going to put this list also on the wiki so you can be able to refer to it. So you need to know the basics of the uh, the procedural aspect of a language, you know, creating variables, loops, uh, branching, functions, arrays, all that shit. You're also going to need to know the basics of object-oriented programming. You got to be able to create classes, you know, create your own data members, member functions, uh, you know, know a little bit about access specifying, creating constructors, all that bullshit. I don't cover much of the standard library in the beginner series. I cover a little bit, so you should probably know these things. It's not very much. Now, uh, in the tutorials, I use something called the Chili Framework. It's just a little bit of code that I have that lets beginners code graphically from day one. It's very simple, and there's only like three or four functions that we ever use from here. So you can, if you're not a beginner, uh, you can learn this in you know maybe like ten or twenty minutes. It's not it's not that big. The, the uh, reference for this is on the wiki. You just gotta search for Chili Framework. Uh, so it's not a big deal. Other things I teach in the beginner series, we learn some, you know, basic game programming concepts like the game loop and rectangle collision, that sort of bullshit. We learn some general programming techniques like recursion, mapping a 2D array onto a 1D array, graphics concepts, drawing shapes, drawing a compiled sprite, which is a list of put pixel calls, basically. Some math shit. Important is to know uh, the basics of vector math. You don't need to know like even dot product, cross product. We haven't done that yet. We haven't done matrix multiplication yet. But you should know the basics of adding, subtracting, uh, scaling vectors. And some other general skills you're going to need. You're going to need to be able to basically know your way around the Visual Studio IDE. Uh, you need to be able to use the debugger. And you need to be able to use Git. Uh, specifically GitHub, because that's where I generally uh, distribute my code. Again, this list is going to be up on the wiki, and you can look through the beginner tutorials, you can skim through them, and you can pick up things that you might be missing if you want to. My hope is that mastering the techniques of this series will allow you to better understand code architecture, giving you the skills to design your own game engine components and to understand others' designs. And it'll bring us that much closer to having the skills needed to approach the topic of 3D graphics programming. And I think that is some pretty hype shit. And if you think so too, then I welcome you to join me on this journey. If you like this video and you want to see me continue on with this project and take it to the very end, please click the like button. Uh, it'll help this video get a better search ranking, which will bring more people into the community, which will give me the motivation to make more videos, which means more content for you. Thanks a lot for your support, and I'll see you soon with some more C++.